Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another uh, edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Hope everybody had a good day. Um, a lot of really good uh, individual value. Let's talk about um, significance and uh, insignificance. So NASDAQ Composite today, despite COVID and the riots um, and unemployment and everything in the world, right? First time closes, well not closes, first time touched, kissed, uh, the magical 10,000 area. Is this, a, is this relevant? It's cool, but it's kind of irrelevant. The Dow Jones, despite the NASDAQ composite reaching the 10,000 level, was down 300 points today. Is it important? Is it relevant? Not really relevant. The fact that the market went up 850 points last Friday and the beta names didn't participate, was that relevant? Probably not, right? Probably not. And again, the moral of the story is, Everything is a conversational piece, okay? Anything to do with the market is strictly water cooler talk. The indexes, again, for years, I've been saying completely irrelevant. Uh, all mental areas, all uh, specific areas of the market celebrates. That's cool. That's great. That's something for, you know, the newspapers to cover and CNBC to throw up their balloons. But again, at the end of the day, they're cool but they're kind of insignificant to what you do. So for example, last Friday, I had one of my slowest days probably in the last eight to 10 years, right? D did a couple of chops, nothing, nothing more, nothing less, because again, I was waiting for my stocks, the names I trade every single day to kind of wake up. That was the discipline, okay? That was the discipline. That was something that I feel very, very strong about that I say every single day, don't ever prostitute your money. Your money is your, uh, is your resource, right? Is your bargaining chips to getting more money, okay? So why would you uh, put something out there that you're not going to have a really, really good chance to coming back? And, you know, Monday rolled around, yesterday we had a lot of really good value. Today we rolled around and the money that was on the sidelines that weren't participating in that thousand point rally that we saw last Friday, slowly but surely started building on Monday. You saw huge moves on Monday on BY, BYND and Tesla, right? Huge moves, just absolutely few moves, uh, moves uh, that car company, NKLOA, whatever the hell it was, some monster moves. I, again, I started comparing yesterday kind of the whispers of what we saw during the dot-com era in 99 and 2000. And today, again, another perfect example how there are names. There, there, there are definitely, you know, there are definitely some characteristics of well, 20 years ago. You know, again, when was the last time you saw a two dollar stock, you know, go to 30 bucks? Again, these are all little parts of what we were kind of exposed to during the internet craze. Nothing needs to matter. There is no fair value. Just kind of go with the flow. So the fact that we were down today on the Dow, irrelevant. The fact that we hit 10,000 today. Uh, on the NASDAQ composite, cool, but irrelevant. Again, what is more relevant is the aggressive action that we continue to see that, again, most people, when they say this market is irrational, that's called a crutch. That's called an excuse to kind of missing out of what we're seeing that people deem to be irrational. This is normal, okay? This is normal. Fair value is normal. The way it gets to fair value is not normal. So if a stock goes up 28 days in a row, why is it overbought day 29? Again, fair value is the four o'clock close. But again, a lot of people use the word over, you know, oversold, over, uh, overbought as kind of an excuse that, hey, you know what? I missed the rally, okay? There has to be a reason, a, a rational reason why I missed it. It must be overbought. I didn't want to chase the rally. And again, you look back and this and dead cat bounce, which started for two weeks, is now from March and we're starting to get to the almost the second part of June. So it's a little bit more than that. We're all time highs, right? Now we're starting to open up. Even the governor of my state of New Jersey, who only two days ago said we're extending the 30 day uh, home restriction to say, hey, you know what? We're gonna start opening everything up. Yeah, you first, right? You first, you let me know how it, how it happens, right? You let me know what happens. Um, 
But again, the most important part, what I saw today was when we continue to see, number one, incredible speculation money flow continues in the names. You know, again, anytime a $2 stock goes to 30, that's pretty big. Anytime you see two weeks worth of option flow come in, you know, on the big names, then, you know, the, the Teslas of the world, they were coming in, you know, coming in nonstop when the stock was, you know, 850, 860, they were coming for the 900s, the 920s, the 950s, the thousands, right? And the stock finally broke out yesterday. Good aggression, uh, good res day today. Same thing with BYND. Amazon broke out today. Uh, we started seeing a lot of the money flow of the stocks were kind of going sideways. We, we talked about the last few days, they finally all woke up. So Amazon, again, big, big mover. Again, congratulations, guys. We said there's a shot this thing gets to 2,600, uh, went to 20, 26, 26 today. But again, the most important part is other names started to wake up. Uh, good res day today for Tesla. Uh, good rest today for BYND. Again, these are inside days. These are exactly what you want if you are a believer in any stock in a longer term story. Uh, Apple continues to be very, very strong from its breakout uh, from Friday session. Microsoft, again, you're seeing all these you know, 200 call buyers, short-term expiration, uh, broke out a couple of days ago, you know, went as high as the 191. But again, you're starting to see the names that were quiet for about a week or so, they finally woke up. And, you know, NVIDIA had a really good trade on NVIDIA today, woke up above the 60 level, exploded. That's literally one day away uh, from testing 52-week highs. You saw Facebook that was literally dead in the water for like a week and a half, and we talked about this big level. Again, we'll talk about the individual pivots in a second, but you can see the stocks that were kind of going sideways and digesting and kind of playing possum, they're the ones that really got aggressive today. So you saw Facebook, you saw NVIDIA, and that's kind of what I, you know, what I really, really like going into tomorrow's session. Even a name like Netflix, and we'll talk about Netflix in a second, you know, you talk about literally has not done anything for a month, finally took out this whole range. Again, we'll show you the pivot in a second. Closed, first closed above this 331 area on supply. And now look how much room you have uh, to work with. So the market looks structurally good. I, I didn't like, at some point during the day, it was towards the latter part, around 230-ish or so, I started looking at the market and I go, eh, you know what, there's something maybe underneath, you know, underneath uh, the hood that's, you know, I, I can't kind of put my finger on it. it it's not a, nothing to do with the price action that I just got, a, you know, kind of like a, like a bad feeling. You know, maybe it's something, maybe it's nothing, but I, I want to be a little bit more, um, I want to be a little bit more uh, patient going into tomorrow's session, okay? Um, the fact that when you hit like kind of a, a mental area, like for example, we hit today the first time 10,000 in NASDAQ composite, that tends to be from time to time, if you go back into history, when you hit a, kind of a, a, a magic barometer, like the first time I remember the Dow hit 10,000, hit 10 and then sold off. When it, NASDAQ hit 5,000, it hit it and sold off. So again, it's not to the point of, you know, I'm saying, well, you know, we have to sell everything, you have to start uh, looking to the downside tomorrow. It's just something that I want to be, I, I want to start the day tomorrow with a little bit more, a uh, little bit more cautious stance. Uh, the strong names that I obviously like for tomorrow, um, I still will be watching them from the long side just because, again, they did really reclaim, you know, major areas today, especially in Netflix, right? When you're talking about Netflix, that hasn't done anything ever since it lost its 20-day uh, support here. So you're talking about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, today's day 13. So you're talking about two and a half weeks of doing nothing finally closed above uh, a supply. Like this is a name you want to watch, right? Facebook, again, who broke out today, this is a name you want to watch. NVIDIA that really broke out today, right? This is a name you want to watch. You want to watch these things. But names like, for example, like Amazon and Apple and Microsoft who already had their runs, I kind of want to steer away from them. Like, for example, I think Tesla probably still needs one more day of kind of playing possum, you know, getting the sellers comfortable, you know, perfect world that comes down here and kind of retest this rising five day. Same thing with BYND. I, I kind of want to see it based for the next couple of days because I do believe uh, based on just, just from the order flow that I'm seeing in the options market, you know, guys are still coming in with those 1,000, 1,100 calls weeklies, for God's sake. Um, for Tesla, I do believe towards Thursday, Friday, you're going to get uh, another run, uh, not only from Tesla, you're going to get a run uh, from BYND as well. So we have to kind of, you know, reshift 
uh, from the really big high flyers to the names just finally got out of supply today. I will be kind of cautious with everything else tomorrow. Uh, but again, you still want to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt. I always have one eye open just to make sure there is no rug pull uh, in the cards. That's the most important part. Again, you can't be naive every single day. You really have to be, you know, kind of focused and be wary of what potentially could happen. Um, so let's talk about today. Very aggressive, very, very aggressive session today. And uh, let's talk about it one by one. Number one, first and foremost, uh, all you guys who came in long uh, Amazon today, you know, Amazon broke out on that pivot yesterday, uh, 2510, then confirmed uh, the 25, uh, 2525 area. Uh, that was the big number. Uh, and you know what, today it gapped up, okay, gapped up, got upgraded. Uh, got upgraded by Morgan Stanley with a $3,000 price target. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. So let's talk about the pivots one by one. Uh, AAXN, 100 needs to build. Again, that's the old taser. Uh, here was AAXN. It, 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 again, it, it did the same thing that uh, I think Tesla and Beyond are doing, right? It, it had a big, big run, consolidated for two, three days, four days, and then it just exploded. Uh, broke 100, went as high as to almost uh, 105, so big move on AAXN. DDOG, I wasn't watching. Um, 77, 75, 78. I, I, have no, I have no idea what it did. I just wasn't watching the stock. Um, it looks like it went from 78 to 78 and a half, so it failed. It didn't do anything. Um, ZM, I really liked it and never got to this uh, 12 area. It gapped up to 15 pre-market, but I was watching the macro uh, daily chart. Uh, here is definitely the move of the day uh, on Amazon. Uh, it, you know, it got upgraded pre-market by Morgan Stanley. I think it was like a 3,000 price target. Uh, 2532 needs to build, and Amazon just just it, it felt like it never had a down tick, didn't it? Right? It literally ran up today almost 100 points. Um, just a phenomenal move. So here was the gap up, right? Here was the gap up right over here to uh, 2531 and change. And it got above the 25.32, and it felt like it just didn't give a gap. It didn't give a down tick uh, all the way up to this uh, 20, 26, 26 highs, almost a 100-point move uh, on Amazon today. Just an unbelievable move. Congratulations for all you guys who started buying it uh, yesterday. Um, Tesla gave a very quick, aggressive move. Uh, again, a lot of times when you see a very, very big exaggerated move, it usually rests the next day. It will always give you one shot of going green. Uh, 947 rejected twice pre-market, needs to build. Yesterday, 950, yesterday's highs. And you, you saw a very, very quick aggressive move on Tesla. Uh, it went from that 947 area, okay? Uh, it gave that 947 area. Here's the two, uh, here's the two channels right here, 947, 947. And, you know, put basically like a $7 candle, kind of rolled over after that. But again, you know, Tesla's just a phenomenal stock. Uh, BYND got to the 61 level, got rejected again. So nothing there. I still think the stock is going to uh, go higher in the next couple of days. Uh, Google had a nice breakout today. 1450 uh, needs to build. Um, so here is Google. I said it, it had a shot to uh, 1465. It actually went to uh, 1467. Excuse me. Uh, so Google, again, nice move on Google there as well. Uh, Boeing got destroyed here. And I think, you know, again, here's one of those scenarios that had too big of a run, uh, too big, too fast, too soon. But hey, man, listen, stocks, you could trade channels. Again, you don't need to, you know, to be sitting in a position. Here is uh, 221.50, 221. If it builds below, can flush. Again, obviously, experienced traders only. Not every single trade is for everybody. So here is what we talked about. Uh, Google pre-market, okay, it was right over here. So this whole 221 area, and it flushed down all the way down to uh, 213. I still think as one more day of selling, so we're gonna watch the downside channel tomorrow. So, you know, Bone got hit uh, right from the word go. Uh, Netflix, again, finally woke up here. Here are the two big levels. Uh, we talked about uh, 425 and 429. 429 was macro, uh, needed to reclaim. So here was Netflix, right? Reclaim this 25, okay? Reclaim this 25, and then it reclaimed the 29. You see all this whole channel here daily, right? 428.50, 428.50, 428.50, 428.50, 428.50, 428.50, 428.50, 428.50, 428.50, 428.50, 428.50, 428.50, 428.50, 428.50, 428.50, 428.50, 428.50, 428.50, 428
for 28.71. So it reclaimed 29 and went as high as uh, 4.35. Obviously, I like it tomorrow. And if this thing starts going, all your options portray to start looking at this top channel here uh, for measured potential. Big, big move there. Uh, Facebook went nuts today. Absolutely nuts. Again, it's the same thing as Amazon. Just didn't have a downtick. Uh, 233 needs to build. That was macro. Um, here is Facebook, right? Here's the whole channel here. Again, did nothing for like two weeks. Uh, took out this 233 level, went as high as to almost 240. So big move on Facebook. Uh, NVIDIA I traded as well. I forgot to put NVIDIA into, uh, I forgot to put NVIDIA into the channel, uh, into the pivot feed. There was just so much stuff going on, but we caught this thing. I, I caught this thing twice. Uh, that 460 was macro and it, you know, exploded. It went to like 465. Uh, so Boeing destroyed, uh, Boeing destroyed, Amazon huge, um, Facebook rocket, again, I said here's 1465, went to 1467, uh, 429 just exploded, and this is the only piece of crap I lost money on today. Um, so I got along this thing 396, I know I should have waited, but 396 was the macro high, I, I know I needed it to close at this level here. So. I bought a 396, I sold some in the 397s, I just hated the way this damn thing traded. Uh, it went to 398, and then the balance, uh, I sold down like two bucks. So this, this thing is just, washing my hands with this thing, just complete, just, just ugh, complete. Maybe it'll be different, maybe it'll be different, uh, maybe it'll be different off the 400 level, but this thing traded like complete crap. Uh, anyway, so here is Netflix exploding. Just incredible, incredible value today. Uh, really big value. Uh, Peloton, nice move on Peloton. We started seeing uh, the 50 call buyers coming in for the June 26th, uh, 50 uh, call buyers. Uh, 47 needs to build. Uh, here is Peloton. Uh, I still like it. You know, I still like it. It closed within uh, 10 cents. Well, it actually went to 48, uh, but it closed within, you know, 20 cents of the highs. Uh, just everything is exploding. Everything is going nuts, and that's the rotation back into tech. Uh, here comes Amazon, blah blah blah. Here comes uh, you know, here comes Netflix. You know, here comes you know. So listen, insane moves, really, really insane move. And then we had one more. Uh, we had one more pivot. Uh, one more pivot on the way up. Uh, NKLA eighty four needs to build. The buyer came in for the July one ten calls. Obviously, experienced traders only. So here was NKLA. Uh, off the 84, and the reason why we say 84 is right here. You see this channel here, the sneaky channel? So it went from 84 and when it popped all the way to 89, obviously reverse course, and now it's going back to hell in a handbasket. But again, what's the difference? So that was good. Peloton was good. Uh, again, $5 candle in the middle of the day is, is pretty good, right? It's pretty good. And here's again, here's where not to speak, not to be spoken to again. So uh, make a long story short. Again, the value is super uh, every day, guys. Especially if you trade beta, you, you just have to be patient for these things. Uh, I know a lot of you guys did incredibly well. I, I constantly get texts and emails after the close. So you know, great job, absolutely great job. Tomorrow's a new day. Again, I want to be a little bit more patient. I still like a lot of names, the Facebooks of the world, the Alibabas of the world. Um, so I like those names as well. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. But again, most important, stay calm, stay patient. You don't need to trade every single second of the day. And the most important thing is stay in business. Guys, God bless. I'll see you tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.